Hello everyone, welcome to Wing Commander. Um, funny story, I mean, I've probably recorded the entire series already before releasing, uh, but when I, today, the day of recording, I asked uh, my good friend Nick Burger Buns, um, oh, I didn't ask, I, I was like, I mentioned, like, hey, Nick, should I? And he immediately went, yes. So here I am <laughs> recording Wing Commander, the first one, the one uh, I basically only played. I only played this one. I do own every other Wing Commander game. So who knows? Maybe we're gonna see some more of those on the channel. For now, I'm just familiar with Wing Commander 1. Uh, which is this one while we watch the credits while flying through an asteroid field. I was about yay high. Uh, <laughs> now, I think it was in my early teens. Probably. Maybe somewhere in between 8 to 12 years old. Probably. And um, Wing Commander came out. Uh, or was out. And, and I, we had it. And as a kid, non-English native speaker i mean i i spoke some english but the game actually it's it looks like an arcade shooter but there's actually some things that you need to do you need to communicate with your wingman because you got a wingman on all your uh missions and you also need to ask that's the the whole th the intro again uh we're gonna start the vega campaign there's also a DLC secret missions, but for now the Vega campaign will do. And um, this is the simulator. Get ready. Wave one completed, and we die. Why? Because this is the game's way of knowing what to call us. We are obviously uh, the Grand Prefarian, and my call sign is Poofy. There we go. So I'm at fifth place, right above Paladin. These are all all the names there are. Wingmans. We can even do the training mission again. I don't want to. We can talk to Shot Glass, which is the bartender. Uh, I believe this is Paladin. Yeah, and, and you are Angel. All right, so let's talk to Shot Glass first. Belly up, friend. Take a load of. You must be Poofy. I'm Shot Glass. Welcome aboard the Claw, which is what I was speaking about. The Tiger Claw. Look at these graphics, though. Used to be a pilot myself. Okay, let's finish this conversation first. Till the fleabag shut me up so bad I couldn't fly. He's talking about a kill Rothy. I guess I flew with most every pilot on the claw. So if you want to know how one pilot or another flies, old shot glass is the guy to ask. Nice. Look at that smile. You're amazing. Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more. Will do. Anyways, we are on the Tiger Claw, which is our mothership. And um, every time after a mission, you have to ask permission to land. If you don't do that, you cannot finish the mission. So I, obviously, when I was a young kid, didn't know that. So I kept on bumping into the Tiger Claw. Couldn't really do anything. Later, I figured out what to do when I was able to finish the game. Now, this game also, uh, it has a lot of missions. But the beauty about this game is that it's not a linear game. You, you can win and you can lose a mission. And that, that uh, to win, there's points, there's victory points that you can do or that you can gain. I must say, if you do all your objecti objectives correctly, you will get past the threshold of victory points. You will win. You will go to another scenario. It's not missions. There's several missions in each system there's like solar systems and um, if you lose or do not get enough points in one system you will go to the lose system like um, there are several systems that you go through i believe there's about six at least you could also go to eight or 
even more uh, depending on if you're winning or losing the scenarios or the systems. Uh, just Google it, look it up, you will see an awesome picture of some sort of uh, weird diamond-like shape almost. And if you lose all the missions, there's two final missions. If you are uh, end up with not enough points, you will end up in... Um, forgot the name. Something with hell, Hellfire, probably. And uh, no matter what you do, you will get the bad ending. Um, if you gain enough points, you will go to the other one, which uh, which will actually you will save the Vega system, uh, which which is the main storyline here. And no matter if you lose or or not, you will win the entire game. So it's pretty awesome that you can do bad on some missions, do not gain enough or gain enough points to move through a certain system. Uh, or back to another. It's it's quite complicated to explain it just like that. Just Google Wing Commander uh, missions and you will see an image. Why am I saying that you have to Google it yourself? Because I'm too lazy to show it to you on video. <laughs> Let it take a seat and tilt a glass with old paladin. I recall once when I was just a lieutenant like yourself there. We are flying patrol over a court. The fourth planet in the Alliance system. These four Kilrathi salty came zooming in with the sun at their backs. What's the point, monsieur? There is one we. I was leading up to it, lass. That day, we learned that the salty will always turn to left. It's got something to do with the way our engines are ducked or arranged. So when you tell a salty, Watch to the left. It's where I'll go when it makes us break. All right. Thanks for that tip. Check pilot's course. We are our second lieutenant TGP. We're down there. Bonjour, lieutenant. You are called Puffino. I am called Angel. I'm just reviewing some figures on our recent encounters with the Kilrati. You would like to know what I've learned, perhaps? The Tralti is the Kilrati fighter seen most in this sector. These figures show that 1.4 missiles are required to destroy the Tralti, while over 7 direct laser hits are necessary to destroy the same vessel. I hope this information is useful to you, Lieutenant. Well, that is. The only thing that I haven't figured out... Um... This is where to save, by the way. That's pretty cool. Save this campaign. You know, we're going to do it like there. Uh, LP1. Now we're sleeping there. <laughs> That's our save game. So there's eight save slots. All right. Let's go into the briefing. Enio system. 600 hours. Got a lot of work. Oh, target slot dropped from jump space seven hours ago at eight. Blue Devil Squadron at first patrol. You kill a beast at the next shift. Your rookies will be flying with experienced pilots on your first missions. Uh, okay. I want the rookies to fly as wing leaders. You vets, keep an eye on the kids out there. Okie dokie. Here are the assignments. Poofy, you're leading Alpha Wing. And I think we're Spirit, exactly. Spirit will fly on your wings. She's quiet, but she knows the road. Spirit will fly with us on this mission. Do it. I'm afraid to click. Oh, okay, you're the wing leader, but if spirit talks, you be sure to listen. Got it. Sure. Will do. I'm a yes, sir. That's us. Good. Here's your patrol plan then. Computer, display alpha. We have to uh, go there. You check three possible jump points at about 20,000 clicks out. There are asteroids near nav points two and three, so stay on course. All right, any questions? Not really. This is an easy mission, control. Uh, yes, Commander, but what are we to do if we encounter the enemy? Uh, shoot them to pieces. Engage. If the odds look good, let Poofy make the call. Sure, we will we'll do. Next is Beta Wing. Your thoughts wander as the commander makes the rest of the assignments. And back to the Tiger's Claw. Remember, this is no training sim. 
If you see the enemy, he'll be out to kill you. Oh, we know. We know. We definitely do. Be sure you do it. Okay, squatter dismissed. Whatever. I, sometimes I'm not even clicking. The text just moves so fast. Maybe, maybe I can do... Uh, I'm not gonna do it here. I know I can do it in my ship. These animations, I mean, for the time. That was so cool. We are part of the Killabees. And you know, it's right there on our ship. So now actually the game starts. Woohoo! We are flying there. Um, we need to go to NAV 1. Let's check the map. We are going to NAV 1. Um, so, okay, up is down, down is up. Um, now I have to move a little bit faster by using the plus and minus uh, keys to... I mean, we can also autopilot by pressing A, then that happens. And you don't have to wait that long. Sometimes that's very handy if you don't want to have a long mission. All right, so excuse me, Commander, I've noticed enemy ships, which means we're gonna slow a little bit down they are right there, and I'm gonna press communicate and say break an attack. Spirit, do it. And we're gonna shoot them. Or at least we're gonna try and shoot them. You're moving a bit faster, Spirit, aren't you? Oh, well, that's fine. I get them. Keep on shooting the bullets. Oh, one is damaged already. Do you see that on the right? One of them is getting damaged, and that's this one, the one we have targeted. We're gonna stay right behind you, man. Alright, that's one down. Next one. You're over there. Those are some good direct hits there. Pew pew. Come on. It's, it's, the thing is, if I shoot and I move, it keeps on moving. I'm not moving then. So that is a little bit awful. That's why sometimes I just steer off course. But hey, you look like you want some. Come get some then. Where are you now? This is a Dralty though. So they turn to the left. That's the tip that Paladin gave us. Man, you really want some, don't you? Well, I can give you some. I can give you plenty. Uh, I do need to figure out how to... I mean, I can change my... My weaponry. Your offspring shall avenge you. Okay. Oh, the thing is, I can also communicate with him, enemy target, and then die, Burf Furball. It's just the best apes can offer. That cat-like creature you saw there, that's a kill Rothy. Those are our enemies. They are cat-like creatures. All right, we're getting some hits in. Nice. Domo. Very good. All right, so we need to navigate to destination one. We are almost there. We're gonna speed up a little bit. And now, not now, but very soon because it ranges. Okay, now they want us to go to NAV 2. But if you look correctly, or if you look right there, there's an asteroid field in between. I do not want to fly in uh, through an asteroid field, so I'm going to NAV 3 instead. And this is possible. You can be a non -lin not linear like that. And now we just, um, I mean, I can do the auto thing again, but let's just have a little chat in space, right? I mean, it's only 50,000 kilometers away. It's not that far, is it? So, um, I can change my weapons there, but I do not really know I can do it with that key. Okay, need lock and darts. All right, now I know how to use those because I completely forgot about that. Also, notice that there's... This is the deluxe, uh, quote-unquote, deluxe edition of the game. 
there's a hand with a joystick. I also remember playing this one. Uh, excuse me, Commander of Notice, enemy ships. Right, so Spirit, you, uh, never mind, you're already breaking. Pretty good. This is a Salty, all right. So there goes a missile, which I missed. Oh, they're shooting at us. Oh God, who is shooting us? You are. Nasty. All right, can I do another one? You know what, maybe, <laughs> I mean, I messed up two missiles already. That's a nice slowdown because we are reaching the asteroid field. And there's one down, nice. Okay, come on. What was I saying? Before we, uh, I figured out how to do, how to do that. There, hit him. That was a good hit. Uh, that's gone. All right, so communicate, spirit. Never mind. Do we have a target? We do. I completely forgot what I was saying while, while we were flying there. Uh, there was an asteroid field, as you've noticed. We uh, flanked it, so now we're heading to NAV two, and I'm not gonna autopilot because then, then the game is will be very short, <laughs> kinda. Even though nothing really happens here, it's fine. Um, it's a nice way to figure out what I was going. Oh, oh, I remember now that joystick there. That's moving. You see that? The hand with the joystick. I remember playing this on our uh, 286. Uh, it's a very old computer, um, and and I think we had several versions because I remember playing with this hand, but. I also remember one not having the hand. And it's probably, there's more asteroids. Probably, if you fly into one of those asteroids, it's game over. You will actually, you will die. You got one life, don't die. Uh, so also, after every mission, after every successful mission, make sure, that's the victory song. We got all objectives completed there. Let's head back to the tiger. Claw, don't hit us. Um, yeah, if you die, you oh my god, that's that came out of nowhere. Well, now you see the ending. <laughs> that's the thing. That that's yeah, we are gathered here to, to pay tribute to one of our own, Second Lieutenant TGP. It's always sad to lose a pilot. But it's especially difficult when he's as young as Poofy. Well, thank you. He died without even a chance to prove himself. I mean, <laughs> that is kind of lame. It's all our first mission. Company, attention. Prepare arms. Farewell, Poofy. You'll be missed. Right when we were just done. Well, there, there we go. We float up into space. So sad. The end. It's actually true. This is the end. If you die, it's game over. That's how it works. You get no retries. So I have to start the mission all over. I'm gonna return once I near the Tiger Claw so we can actually finish the mission. We are nearing the Tiger Claw, so we have to communicate Tiger's Claw request landing. And then they're like, hey, you're clear to land, but be sure to um, land land at the right spot, which is at the front. You gotta aim to the front there. 
And then that happens. Very good. First mission, success. First try, even. <laughs> nope. Oh, well, that asteroid came out of nowhere, right? We noticed that. You got away pretty clean, sir. I did. My shields were helping. Right, so debriefing in the middle of the night. Welcome back, Poofy. Looks like you survived your first trip out. I did. Oh, I forgot to turn, uh, change the message speed. He's a very able pilot, Commander. It's an honor to fly on his wing. Why, well, thank you, Spirit. Please don't die. They can die, though. That's high praise coming from Spirit. You should be proud, Poofy. Why, thank you. I am very proud. In any case, you flew well out there. I've reviewed the mission report from your flight recorder. Yeah, uh, this time two enemies flew away. So uh, I'm pretty sure that I got a lower score. Let's go over the mission report. You got two of the hairballs, Poofy. And one kill Rati for spirit. That's all then, dismissed. And that's it. That's it. So what we're going to do right now, there, there's a new uh, person there. Uh, we're going to save. I'm going to save uh, here right now. Let's call it LP2. There we go. There's a different person sleeping. And this is loading, awakening. All right. So um, next time, we are going back to the bar. Uh, we're going to figure out what they have to say to us now. So thank you very much for watching Wing Commander. And I'll see you next time.